Hey, welcome back. Let's do this. I am Ellie and this is the Lego Friends Friendship Treehouse. This is the set, apparently, which dictates the 10 years of friendship between us and Lego Friends. <laughs> this was this was a very, very nicely gifted to me by Lego and I just I was very, very excited to receive it. And I am now very, very excited to build it and we shall do that together virtually because I'll build it but you guys you come along for the ride it's gonna be awesome you know I'm not ever selling it I'm sure it's gonna be awesome so this is the Lego Friends Friendship Treehouse where's my details bar details here we go so this is 1114 pieces and it is $130 here in Australia $80 in the US and you know a different amount depending upon where you are in the world so google it find out how much it is in your district and hopefully you can get it for even cheaper than that so let's have a look we have got bags numbered up to eight so eight bags the ubiquitous lego friend slide a nice green plate and the book, which is nice and healthily thick, is in its own plastic bag with, oh, where are those little serrated, there's normally a serrated edge on these plastic bags, but not anymore. <laughs> so we got our sticker sheet, got the book with all the instructions that we need to make this absolutely wackadoodle looking treehouse. I am so excited. I am so excited to look for the Easter eggs for the, like all the years of Lego friends. Anyway, let's first up, let's find out there are four minifigures in this set. No, mini dolls. What? What? Minifigures? Get out of here. It's a mini doll set. So the first mini doll we're going to look at is Mia. She's actually not in the first bag. She's in bag three, but anywho, I've, I've got them all out. She's wearing some blue overalls, really nice checked sleeveless shirt underneath her overalls. The pants piece is new. It's actually a new mold. It's got like a little skinny joint bit. Uh, it, uh, it's very strange that we have got a different pants piece for the girls now. So, but I, I don't know. I, I'm wondering what's happening here because it's the boys one's looks the same but has a has a, uh, a wider hinge anyway excitingly Mia has got an alternate face so we're seeing alternate expressions this season which I'm just absolutely over the moon about she has she goes from her happy default face to a uh, happier face so slightly squeezed up little eyes this is a really cute cartoony style face I do like it so she don't know now that I think about it why do we well does she I mean this face would do fine by itself it'd be nice if we I mean we don't need her default expression really because we see it so much it'd be nice to have a different expression for her anyway we now have a different expression so we'll go with that this one is also a girl because uh I know because I know who it is this is Olivia and Olivia is the beekeeper in this set and so that she's not just all in white with, <laughs> with black boots Lego has decided to print some bee stuff on her so that we know that she's a beekeeper and not just wearing all white with black boots because that would apparently not be good enough that would look a little bit odd and she'd kind of fade into the background <laughs> <laughs> on the printed pages she doesn't get an alternate face but she does get a beekeeper's mask which is the one that came with the the collectible minifigure series uh, so it's designed for a minifigure but it doesn't look too strange on a mini doll actually looks really cute I mean they are huge they're, they're, they're not supposed to be <laughs> slim fitting they are supposed to protect you from the bees she has also got a basket and a five cent piece no idea why she's put all her beekeeping outfit on to have a basket and five cent piece, but surely we'll find out as we go along. Now, this is River. River actually left at the end of the last webisode series, so but River appears to be back. And he's got that, the old pants piece with the thicker hinge, got a lovely new top. He has got the face we've seen in two sets before last year and the same hair. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the same hair, but he does get an alternate expression. <laughs> I love this. This is so awesome. Uh, River gets, where is it? <laughs> River gets a, a horrified face or an afraid face, basically a face full of not happy expression. And that makes me very happy. I just love the fact that they're going to be able to have so much character now rather than just smiling passively at each other. So I'm just going to toss this normal head away. No, I'm not. I'll keep it for later. But he gets a hammer as his accessory because he actually does come in the first bag. So uh, look, he's just looking horrified. What do I do with this? What is this hammer I see before me? Let's put him over here. Now he's, I don't know what's happening there, but oh, we can make so many good things happen with these expressions. Okay, other male in this set is a brand new character. This is Jackson. I really like his torso piece. He looks really cute in the pants piece too. He's got the old pants style with the, the thicker hinge. 
Uh, I'm so confused about the new pants style. I just, anyway. So we still have got this, uh, the boys have got two different face shapes. So River has got what was traditionally the adult one and Jackson here has got a younger boy's, a boy's face shape, which is similar to the girl's face shape. But anyway, he looks cute. He's, it's cute. It's really good to have small boy characters. We've also got a rabbit. I haven't seen a rabbit for a little while. A little while. So we got one pet, got River wielding the hammer of doom, and <laughs> and we've got a couple of alternate faces. So that's pretty cool. Did I say cruel or cool? No, I'm going with cool. Okay, let's move everybody out, out of the way and we'll start the first part of build. So before we start the massive tree house, we have got some auxiliary builds. So let's see what looks like we're building a, a little tiny, like a doll's house or maybe maybe a bird's. A birdhouse uh, and this on the side is oh very nice it's a vice for putting it. <laughs> and this piece here is the little hinge bit well the bit that you turn to make it tighter and looser so you use the vice to hold things when you're cutting them so this is the yeah okay I remember the were these in Mia's treehouse these green stickered pieces of wood I think they were so and we've also got a pink paint pot there that was a bit hard to say and there's a hook off the side where you can hang the hammer when <laughs> River's not busy staring at it horrifiedly okay got a brown crate a couple of jars I'm not sure whether they're empty or full but I'm assuming that they are full of honey because there's also a little bit of a honey business going on here and I mentioned it in the build of the main street building in the uh in the little market down the bottom that there's honey for sale down there as well as vegetables and stuff like that I reckon it's a co-op I reckon that market is a co-op with all the stuff that you know that they, they source their goods from a locally sourced locally sourced anyway what are we building so the honey comes from here I reckon from Olivia's hives why do we have a white pseudo bike framey thing okay all right this is this is so that we can actually plug this in to the no down here to the cart to the turn this into a little wheelie cart for transporting the honey around. I mean, River, I'm going to have so much fun with this face. <laughs> Be afraid, dude. Okay, what else have we got to build? So we've got, we've got our vice. We've got like a little building area. We've got our little honey delivery area. And now we get a honey selling area, which isn't actually a phrase, a honey selling area. So we've got a checkouty thing here and a couple of, small jars of honey and one big jar of honey on the top with a bee on the top so we can tell that that's a jar of honey no mistaking and our little flag has got yes okay so definitely our honey stall so a little old little out the front honey stall I love it a <laughs> little co-op no up your pop pop-up shop that's it a little pop-up shop honey pot shop no hold on I'm getting really distracted okay this is not a little pop-up shop this is oh my gosh these are the beehives so there is a mm, that's not how beehives work but I like the fact well so this printed piece has obviously got the hive frame on it so the honeycomb and the, yeah so there's a, there's a whole kind of beehive thing with then a beehivey shape thing on the top I do love it it's not I mean, is it realistic? No, but I love it. I mean, you can instantly tell what it is. So she's got her little beehives over here. Olivia's in charge of that, obviously, because she's the only one who has kitted out to do so. And now we are building another little teeny tiny build with an arch. Okay, so this is a pet enclosure because this is how all of the Lego friends pet enclosures go. So we've got a carrot and this is for the rabbit. So traditional Lego friends style rabbit hutch. Uh, very cute we're at the end of bag number one we have got a few very nice extra pieces but nothing that we shouldn't have and we're up to bag number two so let's get started on the tree house this is going to require a large amount of quite significant foundational building because this is a tall little sucker so let's get on to that shall we and I love the fact that this is haphazard like the actual tree house itself just looks as though it's all being cobbled together yeah, and I'm looking forward to how this all goes together. So wheelchair sticker on this little brown smooth bit on our base platey section. I mean, I have no idea what's happening yet. We'll just keep adding stuff and then hopefully things will come clear. Got some nice structural tree trunk framing bits going on over here. 
How's that for some descriptors? And some smooth white tiles in, like tucked in here. So maybe we'll get a little bedroom or something at the bottom of the tree. That would be so, so adorable. I would like that. <laughs> that would be, it'd be the coolest place too, right? It would be nice and cool in the very base of the trunk of the tree. Oh my gosh. All right. So I still have no idea what that little area is down here. Now, because this is such a big tree house, there is a lot of uh, tree building. <laughs> so, and, the, and there are lots of different colors of the tree. So different shades of the brown and different textures with the little column pieces. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's really, it has to be like that so that it's really interesting. But I have to concentrate, make sure I get everything in in the right place. Ooh, okay, this isn't brown. So we've got our ramp going up to the wheelchair -y bit, which I still, I'm not sure what it's all about yet, but we'll figure it out as we go along. Got a cut open tree trunk there holding that little plate down. Now we got another rampy bit going on with a big bit of green. And this has nothing to do with what we just built, does it? This is a toilet. It's a toilet. Ah, classic Lego Friends design toilet nestled in here at the base of the tree. Hold on, this is another base of the tree. That's good. Hopefully it's a composting toilet. So you know you're fertilizing right down straight <laughs> into the tree. Okay, I'm not sure where I was going with that. I know exactly where I was going with that. This is probably best to stop now. So these are, these are, yeah, okay. So these are our little modesty doors, the doors for the toilet, little hinge shutter pieces. I've missed some bits off there. So now we're lining up correctly. Mm, bit of green, nice little bits of leafy, yeah, leafy substance, also known as leaves going on in, like in mixed in with the brown, with all the brown tree bits. This is, like I said, it's so haphazard. We're just putting stuff on everywhere, but we have now got two substantial tree trunk bases. Very nice. And this piece here then holds those, uh, yeah, those bits together. Ooh, it looks so good. Ah, all right. And a couple of oh, some nice decorative pieces. So now we've got a butterfly, some green, a couple of cute little toadstools. Not mushrooms, don't need anything as thread. And ah, oh, next level up. Next level up, we are starting on, but we are at the end of this bag. So we are on bag number three. And this is the bag that Mia and Jackson come in. So they get their own accessories, which I didn't build at the beginning. Thought I would save that for when we got up to the bag that they came in. So Mia gets a yellow paint roller, which <laughs> touches her hair, but leaves not a mark. It's amazing. And Jackson has got a paint roller too. He's got a pink one. Just lucky I've seen a pink paint pot. That was so, oh, so hard to say. Uh, already on the uh, on the workbench table. <laughs> now look, see that yellow did not leave a mark on his sleeve at all. Now Jackson is is in a wheelchair, so he needs to. We need to build that for him now. And that's why we have all this access, all these fabulous ramps and stuff all around the treehouse because it's for, it's access all areas. It's really cool. Okay, so he is in here. They both of these guys are obviously in charge of painting. <laughs> Fabulous. And I'm just going to park his wheelchair in that little bit that we've we've built but I don't really know what it's for so we'll just pop it there because it's got a wheelchair sign on it so it's obviously where that's supposed to go now some more supports going up here up the back wow this is gonna be I mean this goes tall so it needs some really good structure down the bottom obviously otherwise it's gonna be like a stack of cards it's not gonna <laughs> not gonna go well Arr. all right and this goes here and that's so that we can attach the slide because what is a lego friends 10 year anniversary friendship set without a slide <laughs> uh, it does look good actually the slide even though i make fun of the slides they're a really fun play feature and it actually balances out the, the side of this set too it, it just makes it yeah it's extra fun okay next level up we're I'm gonna assume that we're gonna have a room up here I mean that would make common sense there's not a lot going on down the bottom there's a toilet and that's it this is basically all about the tree this is interesting what is this blue bit with a little yellow hook in it got a nice orange door so oh, I love all the blue I don't know why I really like this shade of blue it's so pretty ah <laughs> Oh, it's such a lovely shade. Okay, this is a window on a stick so that we can plug that into the little hinge bit and you can make the window be askew so it just looks extra wonky because everything's being fixed or cobbled together and that's so fun. <laughs> There's another pink 
paint pot. Ah, said it again and I got it right. So proud over here on the front banister. A lovely yellow window frame. Some more blue. Oh, blue. And a sticker of... It's straight now. I don't, I don't know what it is. Like dispensers of something? I'm not sure. We'll have a look when we're inside. Really, I really don't know. A uh, nice big substantial bit of tree there, all in varying shades of brown. Blue lining across the front. Nice rounded bit of tree. Blue across the top. <gasps> Why is it smooth across there? We're we getting a detachable bit. You can't really have a detachable bit on this though, can you? I don't know. That would be cool. Okay, inside, look at that little room. It's so cute. Inside, got a couple of wood planks just nailed willy nilly on that supporting beam. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously got my work ethic there. They're not even straight. Hey, but it adds character. So this is where we are. Let's just check the wheelchair does fit into the bathroom. So it's a nice spacey bathroom so that it's, you know, user friendly for everybody. Few pieces left over there, which is perfect. And now we're up to bag number four. Okay, all right. This is, I mean, there aren't, there's not a lot of furniture or anything in here. We are basically building a massive tree, but it is, oh, there's just so much different going on there's i mean we haven't replicated any part of the build yet except for these windows <laughs> just as i say that oh okay more blue up here but i mean windows are the windows are cool i'm okay to replicate windows okay right blue up here building another room more tree on the outside <laughs> this is fun and this is Okay, barely supported by one little stud on either side. So this is a bed. So this is designed to be detachable, I think. We've got a green bee-themed bedspread. That's really sweet. I like that. Oh, sweet too, because it's honey. Oh, <laughs> that was not an intended pun either. It's probably not a very good pun either. And lots and lots of outward-facing studs so that we can line the front of this. Here's another one of beautiful windows, beautiful yellow, bright, sunshiny windows, line the outside with the blue facing. So it just adds texture rather than having a blocky spot. Okay. I love that little bunk bed at the top. I'm going to assume another one's going to go down the bottom. Doing all of this smooth lining now, there's just an errant green tile on the front in amongst all the blue and I'm here for it. I love it. <laughs> just, I love all the just craziness of color. I really do. Ah, oh, okay. And on this side, in the tree is is another is a is a birdhouse and oh there was another birdhouse being built on the uh, on the work table as well. This little hinge piece here has got a, another birdhouse on it and a sticker of ooh a QR code. Why? Why does a birdhouse need a QR code? Is this like a secret mystery for the 10 years of friendship? <gasps> oh my gosh, and the bluebird on the front. Oh, and I haven't even pushed down that white plate on the top of the brown bit properly, so this is gonna bug you until the next part of this build in the next video because we're gonna scan this QR code the beginning of the next part of this Hold on, I don't know. The next video. So, oh my gosh, 10 years of friendship. It's got to be some sort of cool secret, right? Ah, okay, I will meet you back here. Be here. Be, no, be there or be square. No, be here or be... I have no idea where I'm going with this. Right, check back in. I'll do this. We will happen soon. I'll see you then. Ah, bye.